So the starters orders hurdle qualifier is next up. We've got a good big field in this one. And we sure it's the last chance to qualify. It's two and a quarter miles or two more two and a half furlongs to be exact. It's a 0 to 130. And Martin Little's got the top two. Cool mega bat, no lecker Marcus. Petite Spectre for John. Morgan, Paul Rhodes has got two, Ursula Prime and Sirium de Milo, Shining Mark for Craig Beckwith and Sparkling Riches for Craig Beckwith as well. Claims Court and Major Tom for Graham Clitterbuck. Independence Manor for Derek Hinton, Gold Staple Alex Cherry, Hart for Bianco Thomas Rogers, Pesatus Agua for Stu Gray, Sir Cozy Moore Alex Cherry, Miles Aura Thomas Rogers, Penny Rock and Rosa Mixer for Matt Cooper. Again, we've got all the horses in the wrong colours and it looks like a oh no we're not going to go on a helicopter ride this time and away we go as they head down to the first and it's Claims Court who is in the lead Independence Manor is in second and I'm not convinced they're from the same stable but Claims Court has gone clear anyway shot clear by about 5 or 6 lengths and the pace is pretty hot at this point Claims Court clear. Coolbega Bant has moved through on the inside into second. Right over on the far side, Ursula Prime and Miles Aura are pretty close up as well. Major Tom is wide on the track, so we've got three running in those usual Darren Thompson colours. I'm pretty sure one of them is Derek Hinton's. Uh, maybe two of them are as well, I'm not sure. Anyway, they're all over that one. And Claims Court's the leader. No Lecker Marcus is mine and not John Morgan's. That one's in second. There's my other one, Coolbeg, about in third. Neither of them in either of my sets of colours. And oh, well, that one may go as well. With Serium de Milo pretty close up. And Miles Aura as well. But it's Claims Court is well clear. Both Derek Hinton and Darren Thompson have had some front runners this season, so it could be either of them as they get over the fifth. They're all safely over that one with no Lecker Marcus second and Coolbeg about third, and then Sirium de Milo fourth. Then comes Independence Manor. Pretty sure that one is Derek Hinton's. I think I want to remember that one from last week. And Miles Aura and Shining Mark and Rosa Mixon and Gold Staple with Pesatus Agua and Major Tom after that one. Sparkling Riches, Sir Cozy Mover, Petite Spectre to the back. That is John Morgan's in his own colours, I think. I mean, it could be Daniel French because he uses those colours as well. This is like that comedy that used to be on TV years ago called Soap, where they used to tell you all sorts of things that go on and go, Confused you will be after the next episode of Soap. And it's like, Confused you will be after the next running of the Starters Orders. Six day three races because it all seems to be day three when they're, they go do lally in the colours anyway claims courts in the lead from cool mega bat and independence manor then comes miles all up and serium de milo no lecker marcus is after that one and then gold staple shining mark is next petite spectre is the back marker as they come up past the electric fence and claims court will skip over the eighth in the lead from Independence Manor is moving into second, then No Lecker Marcus is in third, Callback about on the inside is fourth, then Serium de Milo and Shining Mark getting closer as they get over that one on the leader, right down on his nose there, and has now surrendered the lead to No Lecker Marcus who's gone on. But the previous leader claims court fighting back on the inside and regains the initiative. They've only got four and a half furlongs to go, they've only got three more flights to take and it's claims court on the inside of no lecker marcus then comes sirium de milo and independence manor shining mark is next call back about trying to make a forward move the one that's struggling for room is ursula prime as they get to the third last and over that one they go and it's still claims court and no lecker marcus being chased hard on the wide outside now by miles or a call back about he's going to try and get up the inside independence manor is still there as well shining mark running on over the second last they go and it's claims court and no lecker marcus from call back about and independence Manor. Then comes Shining Mark on the outside. It looks to be going best of all. Now Coolbeg about sweeps into the lead and Coolbeg about is starting to pull away as they come down towards the final flight. Coolbeg about who was a champion four year old two seasons ago. He's two lengths clear. He's being chased by his stable mate. No lecker Marcus. Then comes Shining Mark. They're down to the final flight. Coolbeg about gets over but he's starting to tie up and finishing really well on the outside is Petite Spectre. And Petite Spectre's going to get up and take it. Petite Spectre wins it from Coolbeg about No lecker Marcus and then Major. Tom and Shining Mark 
So John Morgan or Daniel French has beaten me in John Morgan or Daniel French's silks. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. Who's the one? Who's the winner? It's John Morgan. Petite Spectre wins it for John Morgan. Cool Mega Bat. Second, no lack of Marcus. Third, both for me. Major Tom for Graham Clutterbuck was for Graham Clutterbuck, Major Tom. Shining Mark for Greg Beckwith was fifth. So John Morgan's probably sitting there saying, that'll teach you for pinching my silks. I'm going to go up and pass you right in the shadow of the post. So Petit Spectre takes it. And now let's see what happens in the, in the chase qualifier.